I would say that Women of Troy, written by Euripides, was the first ever anti-war play. And I would say it's probably the most done anti-war play, probably, in history. And second to that would be Mother Courage, Bertolt Brecht. And they're both written by men. Well, in Euripides' case, there were no female playwrights. And actually, it was written for men to play. So I think why Greek female characters written in these Greek texts are so strong and so powerful and so in the centre is because the women had the harder time and the men knew it. And these days, we play them as women and so it's like double power. <laughs>《2000 years ago, ancient Greek playwright Euripides penned a story called The Trojan Women, or Women of Troy. It's a tragedy set at the height of the Trojan War, the one made famous by the story of the giant wooden horse that smuggled Greek soldiers into Troy's city walls. And it reminds us that where there's victory, there's also defeat. So Women of Troy takes place in the immediate aftermath of the Trojan War, where the men have basically all been killed and the women and children have been rounded up and their fates are being determined by the Greek generals. We enter the play through the perspective of Hecuba, who was the queen of Troy, and her husband has been killed and she's been taken captive. We then meet each of Hecuba's children, uh, her daughters only, all her sons have been killed, and uh, we experience through their eyes and their perspective, what will become of them? Who are they marked for? The play's characters are a roll call of Greek mythology and speak to a time when the gods played an integral role in everyday life. This was also a time when war was glorified and ever present, and when women were treated as inferior. What is extraordinary about it is that in that era in which heroes were so venerated, Euripides has chosen to write, write them out of the picture and instead has, has concentrated on, on the people who are most affected by these circumstances and who are not remembered as heroes, but who displayed heroic resilience and empathy. It really is just to help remind people of who is left behind and quite often it's women and children and they become sex slaves, they become used and discarded. It really is a woman's experience of war. This incarnation of Women of Troy is by Archipelago Productions, a screen and stage production company formed by Marta Dusseldorp and Ben Winspear. With an adaptation by Tom Wright and Barry Kosky, it played at the Theatre Royal in Nippaluna, Hobart, as part of the Biennial Arts Festival, 10 Days on the Island. This adaptation has some really graphic language in it. It's very violent in its descriptions and was slightly concerned about how a modern audience would take to that. set the piece in a, in a kind of an abstract representation of what we call a refugee registration centre, mixed with a, a sort of a loading dock, a giant sort of concrete structure that sits at the back of the stage. The play talks a lot about the walls of Troy and how the wall can operate as a, as a barrier, but if you're locked inside, it also operates as a trap. The company teamed up with Baruz Bashani, an Iranian Kurdish journalist who spent years in the Australian run detention centre on Manus Island. He composed 10 poems, which were turned into musical pieces by Katie Noonan and performed by a Tasmanian chorus comprised of women and children.
For this work, I really didn't want to particularly write about uh, refugees who come to Australia. But of course, I couldn't get away of my experience, you know, as a, someone who got in the boat and I went to Australia. I feel that I have a duty as well. I am responsible towards this experience. I think what is important in this work is that it is an epic work, you know, it is about an ancient story. And I think refugees who come to Australia or they pass the borders around the world, I think their journeys uh, epic. And uh, that's always was, uh, you know, like a, my understanding of refugees' uh, journey. The connection with Baruz was absolutely paramount to this production and for me gives it the authenticity of now but also that we are allowed to tell this story because we stand with him and his experience. Uh, I think there's more displaced people in the world than ever before, maybe 120 million. And I think as long as there is any kind of war on earth, it will function as a contemporary allegory and, and that's why the play has sustained so well for so, so many years.